Finally on 5, KPIX 5's Kenny Choi is live in Vacaville with the story of a black man who was threatened with arrest. Kenny? We've obtained emails from Walmart which state that its investigation found no evidence of racial profiling. We met the man today who shot this video you're about to see to get his side of the story. Well, we're going to stand right here while you shop. Joshua Lane, a father of two and married, was shopping for a movie projector for his kids at Walmart in Vacaville on March 28th. So I went around to another aisle and I noticed that they're trailing me again. Lane, who works as a longshoreman, says a conversation started initially with one man working security. I told him, you know, I'm a working man, uh, showed him pictures of the wife and kids, kind of apologized, but he told me, you fit the description. What's your name? I don't have one. We moved to another aisle, continued speaking. That's when the lady uh, followed me again. This happened at least three times, three different aisles. Customer inside who's being hostile and threatening. And she asked me to leave. Once she said, those words. I knew she was on the phone as well. Uh, ceased everything. I headed towards the accident. We looked at the Vacaville Police Department incident report, which stated Lane was told about trespassing laws. The officer also told me to go ahead and leave the area. Don't come back. This is private property. I had to leave the parking lot and everything at that point. When Lane and his wife contacted Walmart claiming racial profiling, the company emailed them saying that they were unable to substantiate that allegation. I'm a family man. I'm trying to teach my son here and my daughter as well. You know, they're going to have to grow up in this city and be leaders as well. So I'm trying to show them by example. We obtained an email from Walmart saying its investigation involves a former employee, but it did not provide further details when we reached out to the company today. It's very real. It's everywhere. It needs to be talked about. Um, the more asylum we are about it, the more that it's going to continue to happen. Now, Lane ended up going back to the Walmart location with two members of the NAACP a week and a half after that incident. He's told that uh, he is welcomed back there by a store manager, but he has not gone back after that day saying that he feels very uncomfortable uh, being in that store. Ken and Liz? Yeah, it's hard to watch that, that cell phone video. Kenny, you mentioned there was a meeting. Any other details to come out of that? Yeah, he met with the store manager uh, at that Walmart location, and he says, according to Lane, he says that that meeting took place in the freezer storage room in that Walmart here in Vacaville. Uh, it was an uncomfortable situation for him. We've also reached out to Walmart asking for a comment about that part of the story. We have not yet heard back.